just a thought about the Tkufa that we're in, the Inan of Sukkot. It's brought down from the Sfarim that the concept of a Sukkah is all about the love and the Chiba, the care and compassion that Kaddish Baruch has for Amo Yisrael. That's why the, the, some Sfarim write how the most minimal Sukkah that you have, that's kosher, is two walls and a tefach. And then you have, in the word of Sukkah, you have a Samech, which is four walls, and then you have um, a Chaf, which is three walls, and then you have a He, which is two walls and a Tefach. And those are the different Shittot of how a person can make a Sukkah that's kosher. And uh, I just saw a Pshat talking about the, the lowest level or the minimum level in order to have a Sukkah is the two walls and a Tefach. And if you look at a hug, a hug that a person has, it's two walls and a Tefach. Showing that the love that Kaddish Baruch has for Amo Yisrael, that when a person goes into a sukkah, he's in the tzilah de mehemnuta, he's in the shadow of the munah, he's in the shadow of Kaddish Baruch Hu. And understanding and knowing that, lo yigara ki atay madi. Kaddish Baruch Hu is always with us. He cares about us. He loves us. We do not know why things happen. We don't run the world. Baruch Hashem, He runs the world. And the more we are mechazek the sinan of emuna, of sitting in a sukkah and understanding that, Everything is just temporary. We're, that's what we are in this whole world. Many times we're in the rat race of running around thinking that we're live forever. But the sukkah reminds us that we're here. And what's the real thing that really counts? Like, And that's exactly what you do in the sukkah. When you do sukkah, it's not the fancy, you know, walls that you have. Because everyone has more or less the same panels. You know, the same schach on the top. It's a temporary structure. The more we realize that we're temporary in this world and that we have to focus on what actually matters, which is the mitzvot that we do. Lulav, etrog, hadas, v'arava, the limud Torah. And it's one of the only mitzvot that a person does with their entire body. Putting on tefillin, you only do it with your hand. You know, when it comes to um, running to a mitzvah, you're only doing it with your feet. When it comes to the mitzvah of sukkah, it's a mitzvah that your kol atzmodai tomar na Hashem yikamocha. All your bones, your whole, ent- your whole entire body, the whole entity of, your, of yourself, is living within the mitzvah of sukkah. And the more we, we connect to that idea, and, and eventually when we get into the inan of sukkah, from understanding that we're here temporary, and that the only real thing that we have in the world is the Torah, that's when a person can really be sameach with the simchat Torah on the last day of Shmir, simchat Torah and Shemir Natsaret. When we understand that this is what it's about, that the idea of the world is which means if not for the Brit, the testament of the Torah, the rules of night and day, I would never put into the world. Meaning to say is that the entire world is living because of the Limud Torah. Especially all the people that were Moser Nefesh, for Shnaim Kavachat Argum, or Moser Nefesh in Limud Torah, understanding and knowing the world is going round because of what you're doing. And it's hard, and it takes work, and it takes consistency, and it takes misilut nefesh and dedication, but understanding and knowing that you are making the world go around. And you may not know it, you may not see it, but we know for a fact, it's brought down nefesh achayim, that the entire world is running on limud Torah. And B'zad Hashem Shinizke, to learn, and to do siyumim, and to keep on learning, and to get closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and Gemara Chatima Tova, and Discussion Rabot, Shabbat Shalom and Chak Semech.